Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the week of August 31st. This week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, all you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. But Cancer, let's see uh, what we have going on for you. Uh, this week, and you have this white raven spirit, um, which to me is kind of like a card like the magician. And to me, it can represent like manifesting uh, a dream or manifesting your perfect life. Definitely some sort of justice or victory coming in for you here. So I like to see that. I feel like some of you are thinking about something, possibly a relationship or love that you're a heartbreak. This could be someone coming back from the past. Let's see what we have for you here cancer justice a lot of justice stuff here this looks like an could be an apology here for some of you cancer people i feel like taking this card as well so we're gonna take it why not i also feel like taking this one i'm gonna put that up there but uh yeah very interesting here cancer you start off with the white raven spirit this card says trust in magic to me this card is like the magician it's kind of like a card of manifesting something into your life here. I definitely feel like some of you are coming off of a heartbreak or, you know, something that really hurt. You have the Ten of Swords here with the King of Cups. Um, so I feel like some of you are thinking about um, justice. like, And I feel like you deserve justice in a situation. Uh, in this row, this first row, you have the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. This is like someone rushing in with communication here, but I feel like this is you. <laughs> I feel like you have your sword up here, Cancer. So I do feel like for some of you, it, like it's like two people rushing towards each other. Or Well, really, I feel like this is someone rushing in here um, with the knight of swords and it's like someone rushing in with an apology you have the queen of swords you have your sword up ace of swords a victory here but it's like i feel like you're saying like w like why has this person been asleep you have the four swords here so for some of you i feel like if this is love someone rushing in to give you an apology or something like that i feel like you're just you just feel like this person has been asleep like they have not been paying attention to you at all so i don't i feel like that's why your sword is up with the queen of swords so there's you know that makes a lot of sense is what i'd say to you cancer the ace of swords definitely some sort of victory though or it could be an apology for others, by the way, I mean, if you're involved in anything legal with this reading, there's definitely success and justice coming in for you legally. Uh, to me, the swords cards can also represent some sort of problem at work. So if you've been dealing with like sexual harassment or anything along those lines at work, and you have this emperor that wanted to pop out as well, uh, I feel like some of you could be receiving justice at work. Like maybe it's not legal justice per se, but you know, there, maybe there's some sort of justice coming in. Um, but that's what I feel there. Definitely communication rushing in here uh, in this first row. We're going to clarify with the Lenormand in just a minute. Uh, next, you have the thinker card here. What are you thinking about? Yeah, I feel like some of you just need to take some time and relax. Again, I wanted to clarify the thinker. You have the four of swords here, which we're going to talk about in a minute. But I feel like some of you could just be deep in thought. Again, you have the sword, a ton of sword energy here, which can definitely represent thinking. Uh, again, in this first row, you have the four of swords, the two of cups, and the three of swords. The four of swords is a card of meditation and resting and relaxing, which these first two cards kind of are talking about. But there's this stained glass window up here. And uh, in this stained glass window, it's going to be hard to see cancer, but there's a person like on their hands and knees or <laughs> while they're on their knees. And it's like, it almost looks like they're begging this person that's standing here. So for some of you, like I said, I definitely feel like this could be an apology or someone who's rushing in uh, trying to apologize. And it's almost like they're begging you here, um, which is not sexy, right? Cancer. But, you know, I feel like you have a lot of fond memories with this person if this story is for you. But at the same time, I feel like you're saying to yourself, like, what took this person so long to have this realization um, that is making them beg me for love? You have the two of cups here, three of swords. Like, like I said, I feel like you were really possibly hurt in the recent past here with the three of swords. So, you know, I feel like this person maybe really hurt you. And I feel like you're doing a lot of thinking. And I feel like that's exactly what you should do uh, if you want to is take some time for yourself with that four of swords. For others, I feel like this two of cups is just saying you're moving on to new love. Four of cups says you're not accepting love anymore. 
basically I feel like you're, some of you will choose to ignore this offer if it's someone from the past. Um, again, it, it's, it's interesting if we take it this way, it's like give the Knight of Swords, Two of Cups, Ten of Swords, King of Cups. I feel like this is what you're almost looking for here is someone who's more emotionally stable. I feel like this person just emotionally is broken with that Ten of Swords. It's like that that's what you were dealing with in the past. For those of you not interested in the love, I feel like this is just you watching your health, um, as boring as that is. Three of Swords to me is a health warning card. It's not a bad card, and again, I'm not a doctor, so do not take this as medical advice. But the Three of Swords to me can just say that you're just doing the things that you need to do to stay healthy, and there's nothing wrong with that, <laughs> of, of course. And next you have the truth card. Like I said, I feel like someone is rushing in with the truth here, Cancer. Yep, someone's taking a risk. It's like they're finally taking the risk to talk to you here, Cancer. I feel like someone's coming in with the truth. In this row here, you have the Justice card, the Four of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the King of Cups. In a lot of ways, I feel like this King of Cups should be over here. I feel like this is what you're looking for. So I do feel like someone could be coming in and apologizing with that justice card, hoping to offer you some justice. But at the same time, it's like, I feel that four cups is you saying like, okay, like, you know, thank you, but <laughs> you know, why didn't you realize this before you hurt me with the 10 of swords? So I feel like for some of you, you're just saying like, why didn't you realize this sooner? Uh, for others, I do feel like this could be a legal settlement, by the way. So if you're dealing with something legal, uh, this could definitely be a legal settlement for some of you here. Uh, if you're not uh, interested in someone, again, I don't think, uh, for most of you, by the way, like I said, I don't think you're go going back to this person if this is someone from the past. So I don't even think you would will consider it with that four of cups. I feel like this person has made you realize that you want this right here. Someone mature, probably someone very determined, someone who has a plan, someone who's on their purpose as well with that emperor card. The emperor card to me is like someone where it's like you don't have to, I feel like saying you don't have to babysit this person. It's like maybe this, if this is a past person for you, I feel like you had to babysit this person. This person right here is someone totally different. I feel like it could be a water sign or a fire sign that's coming in for you, new love, in the future, not right now. Um, but let's clarify, let's see what comes up. Between the Net of Swords and the Four of Swords, you have the Sun, something has become very clear to you. I feel like you see this person's immaturity. It's like you see their immature ways. You see that they are not capable of being mature. The Sun is a card of illumination. It's like you see the truth in this situation, whatever it is for you. Uh, between the Queen of Swords here and the Two Cups, I feel like you would have married this person at one point here. It's really crazy because um, Pisces also had the Ace of Diamonds and the Ace of Clubs here, the marriage card. The Two of Cups is like a perfect match in a lot of ways. But I also, I always, always say, Cancer, that the Two of Cups to me can represent stepping stone soulmates. To me, it can represent someone who comes into our lives. Maybe we do feel like we're gonna marry this person. Maybe we do feel a very deep connection with this person, but they're really here to just teach us what we don't want. They're here to show us what we do want, you know, which is this right here. They show us a lot of good things, but they also show us contrast. They show us things that are not so good. So we can know like what to look for in the right person. Uh, between the Ace of Swords here and the Three of Swords, you have the Jack of Clubs. I almost feel like you beat yourself up over this past uh, relationship if this story is for you. Sorry, Cancer, I feel like this is one of those readings where it's like super specific for one person or a few. <laughs> so if you're still watching this, thank you. But <laughs> I feel like maybe you really beat yourself up in the past with that Jack of Clubs because of this. It's like you took it very personally. It's, I feel like it's hard not to uh, take something like a breakup like this very personally. And it's like you really were hurt by the situation. Ten of Swords. Like I feel like this really left you out in the cold, really caused a lot of pain. And so I feel like you're kind of thinking about that, looking at all the pain that it caused. So it's like there's justice, but there's also some pain along with that justice. Between the Four of Swords and the Justice card, yeah, you have the King of Clubs here. This is called the Clouds. Uh, this is a card of confusion, but I feel like for some of you, again, this could be someone coming in with the truth or they're wanting to communicate. You know, on one hand, I feel like it's like you get the truth. On the other hand, I feel like you're kind of like, it's like you get the truth, you get the clarity, but it's like, do you really want it? Because, you know, maybe the truth hurts, right? Between the two of cups here and the four of cups, yeah, you have the seven of hearts. This is called the tree. <clears throat> and the tree, it represents like a family tree. 
It represents building a family with someone or having a two of cups, very deep commitment with a person. So I feel like for some of you, this is what you were hoping for. The four of cups is like saying that this didn't happen <laughs> is what I'd say there. Between the three of swords and the 10 of swords, you have the eight of diamonds. Eight of, eight of diamonds is actually a really good card. It kind of says you hold the keys necessary to heal from any Ten of Swords situations. You have the keys necessary to heal from whatever this is. Uh, the Eight of Diamonds is also a card of settlement. So again, if you're dealing with something legal, uh, definitely looks like a very good legal reading as well here, Cancer. So I feel like some of you could be like a settlement or something like that. Uh, in your top row outcome, you have the Ten of Diamonds, the book. Again, learning something. The book is a card of educational learning. But again, you could just be learning about someone from the past. You could be learning <clears throat> the truth of the matter, the truth of something that happened. So I just feel like you're kind of getting the truth there. Uh, maybe you don't really want it. Uh, middle row, you have the king of spades here, the lily. The king of spades also a card of justice and truth and I also feel like this could be an offer. I mean, someone could be coming in with an offer. I, you know, to me, this looks like, like there are sometimes certain messages where it's like, I really don't feel like they are necessarily important to the reading. And this is one of them, uh, you know, because I feel like this could be somebody coming in. Maybe they come in with a gift. Maybe they come in with like a gift of money or maybe they want to buy you something or whatever. And it's like, they're trying to apologize, but it's like, I don't think you're going to accept it. And I don't think you should either. Um, in your bottom row outcome, you have the queen of hearts. Yeah, I feel like you're more focused on yourself. Queen of hearts is called the stork. It can represent like being a mother, number one. But it can also represent um, kind of just nurturing and caring for yourself. I want to pull an extra row here, Cancer, and see what you have. Yeah, you have the Two of Swords. Um, I would be careful this week if someone's coming back from the past. Two of Swords, like needing to make a head over heart decision here on like what to do in this situation. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, really good card. I feel like you're going to pick a new path. You're probably going to start a new journey. So if someone's coming back here, Cancer, like I said, very specific story. I feel like you're probably moving on. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you're realizing Queen of Pen Here's the thing about the Queen of Pentacles, Cancer, is Queen of Pentacles is you realizing that you have everything you need inside yourself. And it's coming up right next to this Queen of Hearts, which is basically what I was saying. That Queen of Hearts is a card of nurturing energy. It's a card of nurturing and taking care of yourself. And I feel like this Queen of Hearts is just saying you are nurturing and taking care of yourself. You're really focused on yourself at this time, which is probably a good thing. And the Queen of Pentacles, again, is a card of resourcefulness, but she is resourceful um, because she realizes that she has everything she needs inside of herself, like I said. So that's what I feel there for you. Yeah, King of Pentacles, Divine Counterparts, this is what you're looking for. It's like you're looking for some Someone who's willing to put in the work with you you're looking for someone who really wants to be on a team again for some of you not gonna lie I mean I feel like this could be like <clears throat> you know this has been a painful ending the good news is I feel like you've already been through it um, I would again if you don't want to hear from someone from the past who you've, you've had a lot of pain from I would of course block them two of swords here it's like two of swords being stuck in your head and again I, I if I'm being honest here I don't like this direction Ace of Swords, Three of Swords, Ten of Swords. It's like you go from feeling pretty good with the Ace of Swords to the Three of Swords to the Ten of Swords. Not crazy about that. So again, what I would say to you is if there's someone trying to come back from the past, I would like block them or protect yourself from them. And that's definitely like a difficult ending for you. I do, what I do like is that justice card. Justice to me is cause and effect. It's like, you know, you put your energy on one side of the scale and it tips in your favor. So I feel like you're very focused on making sure that you're only putting energy into things that serve you, which is exactly what you should be doing. You have this book card here as well. The book card, you know, here's the thing about the book is that it can represent hidden or secret knowledge. It can represent things that maybe are not obvious. So it's like you had to go through something very difficult to learn something uh, here. So I do feel like you have at least learned something with that book card. Maybe you've learned where you can put your energy and where you shouldn't put your energy. Uh, so that's what I'd say there. I do feel like this is, you know, some of you, like I said, I mean, I hate to say it, but I do feel like for some of you, this has maybe made you a little bit closed off because of this Two of Swords. But I do feel like there's bigger and better things coming in for you. Yeah, I feel like you have to be patient at this time, Cancer. Definitely, yeah, High Priestess. Could be a Pisces coming in for you here. Like I said, I do feel like there's new love, but that Two of Swords to me says that you might be a little bit unsure. Maybe you just need some healing time this week. Maybe you just need some time for yourself. Uh, but that's what I got for you, Cancer. So thank you for watching, Cancer, and enjoy your week.